September 11, 2001, uh, you know, after the terrorist attacks of the Yankees games that followed that tragedy, what sticks out the most? Well, the, the emotion of the whole thing. Uh, in fact, you know, it was a <clears throat> it was a Tuesday. We were scheduled to play a game. Roger Clemens was supposed to pitch, and uh, I was supposed to go to a fundraiser in Manhattan, a luncheon. And then I get a call from the car service. Well, that's not going to happen, you know. And I turned on TV. I saw it was happening. My daughter. Let me see. I guess uh, she was like five years old, and. I was trying to find a TV that had something other than what I was watching. <clears throat> and it, it, this was Tuesday, and by Saturday, the commissioner had already made up his mind we were going to start play on Monday, I think it was. And so we went, uh, the, the, the lasting impression for me it was this Saturday after 9-11, when we went with whoever we had left, because, yeah, I mean, Clemens and Pettit, they got in the car and drove to Texas. Guys wanted to be with their families, which is understandable. And by that time, families who were there for the summer had gone home because it was, you know, after Labor Day and, uh, and everybody was heading to where they were living. So guys were heading to be with their families, because that was the one thing I wanted to do, was be with my family at right. the time. But we went to... Um, we went to the staging area at the Javis Center on that Saturday. We had about two or three vans full of players that were there and coaches. And and uh, we went there, and then we went to uh, St. Vincent's Hospital. Unfortunately, there was nobody there because they weren't finding survivors. You had some, you know, some firefighters there from uh, smoke inhalation. Then we went to the armory, which was the most sensitive of all because that's where all the families were were housed, waiting for results from DNA about their loved ones. And I didn't think that we had any right being in there because it's such a personal thing. But uh, we had somebody go in. They wanted us to come in. And we went in, and Bernie Williams, who, who was one of the players that was with us, went over to some woman because they started motioning, come on over here. Uh, and he said to her, you know, I don't, I don't know what to say, he says, but you look like you need a hug. And it, I don't know how long we spent there, but it was, uh, th that's the most lasting memory and the most vivid memory I have of the 9-11 uh, week. Uh, and then I realized at that point in time that we represented, you know, more than the Yankees there. We represented the city of New York and I got that point across, and I didn't have to convince anybody about it. Uh, it was a very emotional rest of the season and, and postseason.